that's the example that was that is uh, the United Kingdom, which reduced its its uh, use of carbon dramatically, but at the same time increased its imports by more than that by which it reduced. And I'm just curious uh, how you in the DEQ factor uh, that into this chart that we're, that we're staring at that has a, a so-called budget of 14 million tons. Because it looks as though we have this space called Oregon and we're now going to say if you come into this space you're going to be, you're limited to, you have a carbon limit impact, uh, you, you can't create any, um, mm -hmm. but come to Oregon. And, and uh, then they'll say great, we'll just bring stuff in as the chair just suggested. Uh, online ordering. So what's what's the answer to that? For sure. Just to clarify, I was talking about too many trucks, but thank you, Senator. Co-Chair Kotek, Co-Chair Courtney, <laughs> Senator Bentz, um, ex really excellent question. And um, uh, the direct answer is that uh, DEQ actually does maintain two types of greenhouse gas emission inventories. One is looking at where the greenhouse, uh, at the generation of greenhouse gas emissions in state. That's the more common sectoral inventory of greenhouse gas emissions, but Oregon uh, DEQ and actually some others uh, nationally are starting to look a little bit more at uh, a consumption-based uh, inventory that's looking at what are the effects of the things that we collectively consume, um, whether that's from Amazon or Whole Foods or um, uh, aluminum uh, or cement uh, that we import from other states and then don't count their greenhouse gas emissions from pr producing and transporting those things. Uh, the short answer, uh, and I'd be happy to follow up in more detail with you, is that the um, uh, the gap, if you will, is greater if we look at a consumption-based inventory uh, rather than a sectoral-based inventory because we are, we are a, a state that is consuming a lot of things from other parts of the country and uh, from other nations as well. And so um, one of the questions that um, you know, I would suggest legislators think about as they think about these difficult policy issues, and it's a, it's a, really it's almost a philosophical policy question is, if, if the point of this exercise is to do our part in reducing greenhouse gas emissions, does that mean taking some responsibility for emissions occurring from things that are produced elsewhere that we consume here? 